skim the splash zone. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. All right, boys, we're over here at the flying field. We got the carbon cub tied up, we're untying it. Today, we're gonna be doing some work on this thing. If you guys remember, like in the first video when I bounced the plane on, yeah, that happens if you have a bad landing. If you have a perfect landing, the plane won't bounce at all, but you can also upgrade your suspension. That helps with that a ton. The stock suspension's good, but if you kind of smack it down, it just bounces right back up. It's like upgrading the suspension on a car. Today. We're gonna be upgrading the suspension on our carbon cub. Oh, brother! Brother, we got airplane coming in! Dude! What the heck? The damn air show out here! You ain't lying! This is awesome! All these guys are so all these oh. guys are at uh, Sun and Fun doing the short takeoff and landing competition, and they came down here to do this today. Ah. So they're experts in short landings. Oh, so we got the pros out here. With yeah, us. yeah, we got some. Some guys will probably put us to shame. <laughs> that's okay. You know, that's how you learn. Yeah, I was like, yeah, the field's about 600 feet. They're like, oh, oh, <laughs> why'd you even tell us? I was like, I thought it was tight. <laughs> oh, that was a race rig. You see that? That thing was polished out. She's chrome. Yeah, I better see some fine technique here. Nice. What a unit, dude. All right, that only took about 200 feet. Oh, you know, he's on camera. I better butter it. Ooh, see, mine would have bounced so hard right there. Did you see how that thing stuck? Stuck. He driving on two wheels. Dang, he's hightailing. <laughs> Fellow yellow cub enthusiast. See, dude, mine would have bounced another five feet into the air. Maybe. You know, none of these guys are really like struggling with this field at all. They make it look so freaking easy. Yeah. I mean, they're speeding up across the field. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> I'm over there by the fence. We're like, like <laughs> This guy looks like a pro. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, see that was that some was butter. smooth. Dude. That was some butter right there. It's gonna be a sketch when James has a uh, airplane like this, and we're sitting out here, and we hear like, knock, 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 because the plane <laughs> flies over. It's fine. Does an inverted <laughs> flip to land spray to the ground. I'm gonna have to start with those like man-powered gliders that they drop like yeah. off another plane to <laughs> just get good at coming down with no motor. Yeah, there well, you go. Uh, we'll just train you from the start to not have an yeah, engine. not needle. Oh yeah, he's got oh buttery. Oh dude, that thing is sick. That thing is a rig. Golly, this guy's hightailing. <laughs> he's like, I know my plane. Oh, it's Toledo. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a damn Cessna yeah. 185, dude. Oh that okay. We're out here sporting, dude. Look at all these planes. Yeah, he's lying, dude. Did not take us long to find airplane friends. <laughs> One video, dude. Here we are. All right. This is the guy who's setting this up. This is Matt from Acme Arrow. How's it going, Matt? Hey, man. How are y'all? We're going to get rid of my bounce today. Is that the goal? Damn right. What's up, man? I'm Warren. Warren. Yep. Good to meet you. Clean it. Hey, Warren. Ross. Cool. This is James and George. We thought this field might be a little small for you guys, but luckily you guys took care of it. This is Jay. That's pretty funny. Stall hey, Jay. champion. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Good yeah. to meet you. Clean this. Eric. Eric. Good, hey, good, good to meet you. Clean yeah. Good to meet you. Man, what cool place. Yeah, this is Alan, hey, owner of the guys? fine field. Hey, Alan. Matt. I was going to come in yelling, this is private property. <laughs> <laughs> Trash bag full of shirts. Yeah. Like it? All right, I'm going to pick this up. You have to pull it out of the top. Here I got it. Oh, he's got a carbon fiber helmet, dude. Yeah. Wait, why don't we wear helmets? You'll have one when we're done. I feel like we should Probably be. need one. <laughs> Look at that. Box full of parts. Proudly nice. made in the USA. Watch out for that red ant pile. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Don't want to be, don't want to mess with that. These guys are the ones that did the suspension on that Red Bull plane that landed on the top of the freaking building. So, so they I feel got confident it. in their parts yeah. already. <laughs> the old carbon cub. I hear about to get a lift kit. Well, not really a lift kit, but some upgrades. Oh, a Toledo. Double adjustables, dude. Look at the difference. <laughs> Double adjustables? Look at the difference. Oh, yeah, wow. So you got a whole lot more gas pack in that, too. So what do we got? What are we changing out today? Yeah, man, so we're uh, we're hooking you up with the Pro Series suspension. I'll let Eric give you the lowdown oh, yeah. on on uh, the down and dirty on it, man. Oh, sweet. So this is, a, this is a mechanically sprung shock. There's actually two mechanical springs inside the shock. We have... Okay a separator piston here uh, that, and oil here nitrogen here so essentially it is uh all the oil is what we use for damping um the two springs gives you a dual rate 
to okay. where initially when you when you stack dissimilar springs on top of each other initially it diminishes their rate so you have one rate until one spring coil binds when that happens the other spring gets its true rate back so then it ramps up significantly okay. so the last inch and a quarter of the travel of this shot is a significant rate increase so if you really bang it down so man, it has you, something to catch if it if you drop it you i mean it's really party time you get in short <laughs> man you can you're that's cool well we're big shock guys <laughs> for race cars but you know this is a whole new ball game yeah, yeah so so our shocks are our own proprietary uh design it, it's not uh interchangeable with any of the other shock manufacturers Sweet. we make everything in-house in charlotte north carolina and uh, cool uh, we make our own schrader valves man so nice. uh, we're, we, take pride, <laughs> we take really pride in yeah. everything being made in the US. And you're saying it's gonna stick like glue like glue man all right, all right let's do it <laughs> Sweet. so it's just those two bolts and that's, that's it that's it man we'll uh, uh we'll get some tools what do you got for uh uh, the tail wheel too right yeah so this is our stinger um oh dang we got a shock on the tail now? yeah yeah so, so what this does it replaces the leaf spring what's really cool about this Holy unit crap. and the reason we designed this is because um you know about 18 feet from the center line to the rear pivot there's a there's a little bitty tubes in the rear of the airplane and over time these things just twist and move it's inherited there's nothing you're going to do the the shimmy that you get from the tail wheel we found over time is not from a caster angle it is your caster angle has to be right but we designed this because the camber when the camber's off and you're tracking this is a oh, yeah. extreme example it's wanting to find its way home but over time you can always check and adjust this if this is mounted to the airplane this is dissimilar so you can oh you can actually change you it can you, you can to. change the angle and it's all on monoball so even what your rear frame's doing it doesn't matter your rear a arm can be adjusted to uh to take the angle and track straight and true what you think about that <laughs> that is that is a Sounds big upgrade you get, <laughs> there you go put you it got, on you got your horse and buggy back there and yeah you're going to your, your ferrari yeah so we just have this leaf, leaf spring part. down here we're going to change that out Really step it up, James. Check this out three blade prop. Yeah, he's got just, just look back here, though, brother. Look back here, he's got the spray on this thing. How big of a shot are you running? 70 wet. 70 wet. And is it a 180 horse engine? It's about 220 off the bottle. Oh, wow! Yeah, you got her hopped up. It's it's well massaged. And how much does the plane weigh? 1106 as it sits. Right okay, now. wow. Very cool, man. That's it? That's faster than a Freedom Factory pitch. Yeah, you know. They just picked up the wing and changed the freaking strut in 10 seconds. Can we put nitrous on this one? Yeah. Why haven't we? Well, you know, I mean, we've only had the plane for a couple weeks. I just haven't had the opportunity to throw a nitrous system on it. Right. Just like that. <laughs> Dude, it already looks cooler. Now it doesn't oh. look stock. I mean, everything it looks better modified. Exactly. You know? He's talking about I only had it for a week. Shoot, every truck I got, I've got the muffins cut off for a day. Every time we buy a <laughs> truck, boy, things blowing up in a week. That's true. Yeah. What's the optimal height to lift it to for as high as you can? High as you can? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about three foot. All right, yeah, so, so you film over there, George. All right, so well, tell us what we're doing here, bud. This is the factory tailwheel drop test. Drop test. All right, you ready? Yep. Right there, that's good. That's all you need. Not bad, okay. All right. All right, now we need something to prop it up with. Push it back this way, I got it now. Thank you. Yep. Down period. Hold up. Hold oh, up. Right. She looked low. Like she's pretty dry. Right. Click, click. Oh, that's factory. She's good. Right. Ready for a drop test? Drop test. I'm ready. God, I hope it doesn't suck. Drop it like you mean it. Bounces right there. Bounces <laughs> worse. Please don't suck. All right, drop test. Oh, oh dude. You yeah, go high, high. Hold on. Go high, go high, hold didn't high, even high. bounce. Whoa. Oh. Dude, what? No All right, so this is for that really bad landing. Dude, what? Heck yeah. Guys, the Cub officially has some Acme suspension on it, Acme Aero. Thanks to Matt here and his crew. You want to fly it here one time and land just to get the feel of it first. I, I, said, I think yeah, it's, a different, it's a different it's a different airplane. It's a different feel. You kind of, you need to do maybe one or two. Yeah. Fire me out. But if you really honk on it, it'll. Yeah, you want it behind the power curve a little bit. Get behind the power curve, three feet off the ground, <laughs> chop the power and let That's it. That's so crazy. Yeah. All right. It. Land it like you mean it. All right. I'm going to land it like I did the other day. Basically what they're saying is drive it like it's a Crown Vic. Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> I have to hit the body shop after this, but all right. 
first test, new suspension in the Cubsky Doodle. Magneto test. Here we go. <laughs> butter. Oh, it just sticks. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's really stick it on this time. Oh yeah, like nothing, dude he slammed her down, she just took it like a champ. <laughs> no way, that is sick. And? Well, I know for sure if I hit that hard I would have gone right back <laughs> Man, that's a night and day. Impressive. I told you stickers at Daytona versus two-year-old 70 lap scubs. Yeah, that feels like <laughs> brand new sticker tires right there, brother. <laughs> that's it, man. All right. Let's go, dude. That was sick. Yeah, let's, yeah, uh, let's debrief. Let's so, like, if you're behind the power curve, which was what he was talking about, it's like you get your throttle in too late, you know? And if you're, say, you're drifting, right, that's like when you're straightening out and you don't get your throttle in soon enough to bring the car back around. Same deal, if you don't get your power in early enough, the plane just starts falling, and once you're too close to the ground, you're just gonna go down and bang on. They're telling me to do that. I try it, the plane hits the ground, soaks it up, and then doesn't bounce. So that's that's exactly what we were trying to fix today. It's gonna make me look a lot better in the videos. You know, that <laughs> first video where, where I landed, and I freaking bounced three times. I think that's why they called me. They saw that, they're like, we can't have that, so. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go head out to the river. We're doing a debrief where we're all going to talk about our plan to fly out there safely in a group, and then we're going to go tear it up, have some fun. All right, so I guess these guys just got, like, the best news. Uh, I mean, I've never seen someone so excited. <laughs> the past four years, man. Four years uh, and yeah. a million dollars. So yeah. now the parts that we just put on the plane yeah. are, are certified, certified to go on your certified airplanes. We've got our STC for our Stinger and our black ops shock so yeah. that was literally <laughs> one minute ago yeah, yeah so. that's awesome <laughs> Congrats, breaking, news breaking news here breaking news here <laughs> got job. a phone call and yeah, it's the happiest so. day of his life yeah, yeah. Yeah. we got to witness it they can only put these parts on experimental planes is that right that's right now yeah. now they yeah. can put it on any regular plane you know that's just normally certified yeah. that's a huge deal it's a, basically takes you from a market this size to a market it took us four a years massive market yeah, yeah we've been we've been testing and retesting and material studies and all for four years and uh now uh, the fa is F approved it, it's stamped an hour yeah, ago not, so. i mean drop yeah. testing material testing yeah. Um, yeah. they saw our drop test video yeah, <laughs> yeah. congrats guys all right, thanks man appreciate, appreciate it. it like if you're going out of the river always be on the right side All right, number one's going. Three's rolling. Top Gun right now. How cool is to look out the window? Dude, it's absolutely yeah, incredible. Yeah, for you. Don't look out because you need to Back stay to left. <laughs> Whoa! 100 feet above you and 200 yards behind you. Bro, this is the most incredible thing in my whole life. At least oh. top five. Bro, he's just been chilling right there the whole time. I like being in a position where all I have to worry about is the speed and altitude.
All right, number one's on the sandbar. You staying there, or what you doing? I'm going to eyeball if I can cross here real quick. Yeah, the water's not too deep. Number one's crossing the river now. Bro, that suspension? That Husky's final Boom. big sandbar. Glue. That was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Let's go. We are out here on the river, brother. On the river in a plank. <laughs> Landed on that sandbar, and then we just taxied right through this water. Woohoo! Cubs looking good. Stuck the landing with that new suspension. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, that was nice. Brother! Hey, you said the stinger is waterproof, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clean. It's a lot of fun, dude. Being that was out of so river, sick. Just sick. I didn't know we had an airport. What's up, bud? <laughs> Hey, Drew, this is your airport, right? God almighty. This is uh, Airport Twisted T. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, dude. This These awesome. guys do the, the short takeoff and landing competition. So they're all at that event going on right now, sounding fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Literally competition planes, all these planes. Well, guys, a huge thank you to Matt and the guys at Acme Aero for getting the Carbon Cub all set up. I'd love to tell you we have some more flying content coming up, but we got to get all these Rangers ready for Danger Ranger on dirt at Bristol, April 22nd. We got a little bit of work to do on these cars. We also have the engine coming out of mullet. So I got a bunch of automotive updates for you coming later this week. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.